Hello. All right, I'm going to do an unboxing of the Canon Keys Back in Echo 65 CNC version. So Canon Keys has been known for their Back in Echo series uh, alongside their Brutal, uh, Brutalist architecture inspired series. And the Back in Echo 60 and 65 have been amazing deals. Um, 129 for the 60 or 134.99 to 150, depending on whether or not you get a stock or B stock for the back and Echo 65. These are all aluminum. Um, they are gummy O-ring mounted, um, and for the price, they are incredible. So I would highly recommend one. Um, one of the bad things about the back and Echo series previously um, is that the aluminum uh, was injection molded, I believe. Um, and so the finish quality wasn't always the greatest, especially on some of these painted versions, um, with high gloss, you would get a lot of bubbles and stuff and stuff like that. Um, so back in echo recently came out with the, or I'm sorry, Canon keys recently came out with the back in echo, uh, 65 CNC version. And these are 195 for an a stock model. And I feel like for, you know, the extra $40 or so, um, it's a huge upgrade because these are CNC um, anodized aluminum. And so I've got the uh, lilac version here today, and I'm going to go ahead and unbox that. Super exciting, always getting a new keeb. And I don't typically do unboxings, but since I seem to buy a lot of keyboard stuff and I don't really see anything about the uh, CNC version, I figured I would... Do this to help anybody that might be interested in it. Hopefully I don't cut myself trying to do this. Very weird box. All right. So the awesome thing about <clears throat> Canon keys, um, I actually have one of the Brutalist 60 keyboards here, which is an amazing keyboard. This is one of their higher end models, um, meaning the, the Brutalist uh, architecture inspired. Um, these aren't super cheap. I think this, this one, the base kit is like 210 or so. It doesn't come with keycaps or switches or anything. And I always buy Stupid Fish Foam for all my builds. Um, even if I don't know if I'm gonna need it or not, I'd rather have it and not need it. So this also has Stupid Fish Foam. It's a very stiff typing feel. It's modified top mount um, with O-rings, but there's not really a whole lot of flex. And because this is an FR4 plate, um, a lot of switches don't really secure in them uh, it, it fully. So any slight flex can cause the switches to pop out. And these, this has uh, Gatteron ink flax, which are already kind of known for not securing into some polycarbonate and FR4 plates as it is. But I wanted to call that out because Canon Keys provides a case. Um, with their keyboards and it's amazing because the cases alone are like 30 or 40 dollars and Canon keys cases are very nice All right, so this is the lilac version um, The one we're looking at here on screen Let's see what it looks like All right, so in the pouch You can expect to get I think it's a 50 a gasket um, I think you get 30, 50, and 70 um, as options that you could buy extra. They don't give you the option at checkout, but they're only like $5 a piece. And I think that this is the 50A version. Um, your stabs. So one of the unfortunate things about the back and echo being O-ring mounted, or I'm sorry, gasket mounted, is that you can't really use screw-in stabilizers uh, because the uh, O-ring won't be able to fit um, with enough space. So there's a way around that, which I'm going to do. Um, you can mod screw and stabilizers to work. So maybe I'll do a video on that when I get to it. And then we've got the FR4 plate, which a lot of people talk highly about FR4. I personally don't think that they're that great. FR4 is basically a PCB without any PC. <laughs> so it's just the board part of a PCB and it's been stamped out, um, with the, uh, switches, the switch slots, so to speak. Um, it doesn't sound bad. I just don't, I've, I've had a lot of problems with switches securing in them fully. 
Um, and I personally think brass sounds better. And when you already have a keyboard that has a gasket or O-ring mount, you're already going to get flex from the mounting style. You don't really need it on the plate, in my opinion, for what I like. Um, so you get the JS key cable and uh, daughter board. So this is for the USB port. And then obviously you get a hot swap PCB. I believe this one has RGB. And even if it doesn't, I don't care because I don't really like RGB on keyboards. I think it looks kind of tacky. Um, I've definitely kind of grown away from RGB. And then these are the uh, Poron Peak. I believe it's Poron. All right. So keyboard time. I know people are probably going to be like, dude, you talk too much. But hey, go ahead, make a video. However you want. Um, Canning Keys also provides <clears throat> these uh, microfiber claws, which are amazing. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Very high quality, it looks like. Okay, yeah, those aren't scratches. Those are just little pieces of dust. Um, very simple keyboard, but very, very nice. The finish is fantastic for 195 click 195 uh amazing deal so you get the 65 percent o-ring gas gasket mounting keyboard that's what it is fr4 universal plate again not my personal favorite unfortunately it doesn't look like canon keys actually provides uh extra plates or separate plates um but because this is uh o-ring gasket mounted you can most likely find a brass plate or a uh carbon fiber plate that would work for this you would just have to kind of test it out all right so it comes with the hot spot or hot swap pcb six degree type, typing angle obviously you can come to the page and look at it but yeah i would highly recommend if you are looking for a build in like the 200 dollars range this is probably the best option right now for in stock it's incredible i'm going this comes with a zinc uh weight and i'm gonna mod this plate a little bit and maybe i'll take photos when i do that all right. Well, I hope that was helpful to somebody. And if not, sorry. All right.